For 50 years, AMP has been a leader in supplying quality products and tooling. We know that the highest quality product can only be guaranteed with the highest quality of tooling. This AMPAC program is divided into three modules to help you better understand the AMPAC TAP system. Module 1 will highlight AMPAC products and installation procedures. Module 2 will cover tool maintenance and cleaning procedures. And Module 3, the last module, will cover the AMPAC hot stick kit. AMPAC taps are widely used in electrical power distribution because they are a fast and reliable means for tapping power off transmission and distribution lines. AMPAC taps can also be removed and reused. Taps and stirrups are available for a wide variety of applications. Components that make up the AMPAC system include the tool which consists of a head and power unit. Color-coded shells contain a gunpowder charge that is used to actuate the tool and the tap. The tap consists of a wedge which is forced by the tool into the C-member. Both the wedge and C-members are supplied with a synthetic oxide inhibitor compound. AMP has available two types of taps, aluminum and copper. The aluminum tap is used to connect aluminum to aluminum, aluminum to copper, and copper to copper wires. The copper wire applications are restricted to above ground and non-hostile environments only. The copper tap can be used on copper wires and in direct buried or overhead applications. Both types are available to cover a wide range of wire sizes. The aluminum taps can be used on various types of wires including double AC, triple AC, and ACSR. Listed on the back of the C member is the correct color coded shell to be used. Listed on the tapered wedge are the various wire sizes to accommodate the large variety of wire combinations. The large wire groove is also coded. Markings are printed to be read up and down the column, not diagonally. Taps are packaged in color-coded bags to correspond to the color-coded marking on the tap. The Type 2 tap is an improved version of the small red-coated tap because there is a lesser chance of the wedge being cocked in the C-member during application. There is also a uniform positioning notch for the tool which allows the C-member to be located in the blue notch, eliminating the need for a red platform. Type 2 taps use a white-coated shell rather than a red-coated shell, even though they have the same wire range. The Ampac stirrup assembly consists of a wedge and a tin-plated copper bale affixed to a C-member. Bale sizes available include number 2, 1-aught, 2-aught, and 4-aught. The AMPACT application tool consists of two components, the head and power unit. Two types of heads are available, small and large. The small head is used to apply small red-coated taps and medium blue-coated taps as well as the copper and type 2 taps. The large head is used to apply the large yellow-coated taps. Both heads are interchangeable with the power unit, however, they are not available separately. On the small head, there are two positioning notches to position the tap for firing. The bottom notch, color-coded red, uses red-coated taps. The top notch, color-coded blue, uses blue and white-coated taps. Upon firing, the wedge is driven into the lance, creating a locking feature on the completed tap. On the large tool head, there is only one positioning notch. This cutaway shows the inside of the power unit. Let's briefly explain each feature. The threaded coupling houses the ram and accepts the tool head. The aluminum crush sleeve is a safety feature designed to protect the ram in case of over travel. The stainless steel ram drives the wedge into the C-member and acts as a firing pin for the tool. The coupling nut holds the two moving parts of the tool and acts as the housing for the fail-safe groove machined in the coupling. The breech houses the shell and shell ejector. The ejector sleeve is used to eject the spent shell from the breech. The breech cap assembly is threaded onto the rear of the power unit and contains the gas release knob and piercer pin. The gas release knob contains the release path for the gas. The piercer pin pierces the shell wall, providing a path for the gas to escape. The last feature is the anti-bind washer, which prevents the seizure of the gas release knob. <laughs>